buenos días, good afternoon, buenas tardes, good evening, buenas noches, whenever it is that you get to see this. My name is Miss Adri and I'm here to teach you some stuff and welcome to the next edition of Spanish Sundays and <gasps> the return of children's songs. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm super excited. So, as I mentioned in the intro, it is the return of the book Arroz con Leche by Miss Lulu de la Acre, which is a compendium or a collection, however you want to call it, of some popular songs and poems from Latin America. Last time that I used this fabulous book, we talked about Arroz con Leche, we talked about Naranja Dulce, we talked about La linda manita que tiene el bebé allá en la fuente and some others. And today, I'm going to be spotlighting four more songs. Um, one of them, actually, no, not one of them. Two of them I actually grew up listening to and playing. And two of them, I didn't really get to know them until I was relatively a little too old to be playing or singing them, but it doesn't matter because they are awesome songs. And once again, I absolutely love, 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 love this book. I would love if anybody knows if Miss Lulu de la Cre is around. I would love to know if there is another book of this sort by her or by somebody else because I know there are so many songs that we grew up with listening to and learning from that, it would be kind of fun to explore some others. So let's get started. All right, so the first song that is on the list is Un Elefante Se Balanceaba, which is supposed to be the graceful elephant. Let me show you the illustration very quick. So here we have some elephants balancing on a spider web. Why? Well, I'm going to sing you the song and then I'm going to do the translation for you and then I'm going to explain how I actually used this song when I was a kid. So, all right, here we go. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña Como veía que resistía fue a llamar otro elefante Dos elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña Como veían que resistían, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Tres elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una araña. Como veían que resistían, fueron a llamar otro elefante. And it keeps going on and on and on. I think the longest or the largest number of elephants that we had in the game was 20. I'll explain how. So the translation is the graceful elephant. One elephant balanced gracefully upon a spider's web. Now you understand why the little elephants were on the web. But when the web bounced him all around, he called in another to help him hold it down. Two elephants balanced gracefully upon a spider's web. But when the web bounced them all around, they called in another to help hold it down. So basically, this is a cute little song about some elephants that were hanging out on a spider web. I loved playing this song and I say playing this song and not singing this song because when I was little, I would say all up around until I was like, wow, 15, we would actually entertain ourselves playing during recess or during lunchtime this song. And what you would do is that usually you would start not with one elephant, you would start with two elephants, one person facing the other, and then you would start basically doing a sequence of clapping hands. And as these, you know, uh, the amount of elephants grew, the amount of people grew, the most you could do at the same time was, I think, four, because it was going out, uh, clap, up, down, side, side. And the thing is that also, besides you know, adding more elephants and the song is rather fast. The idea was that the more elephants you had, the faster the song would get. And the only way that the game would basically end was if somebody either said the lyric wrong 
or if they lost count, or if they flubbed on their little hand movement. So our second song comes from the beautiful country of Argentina, and it's actually kind of a tongue twister. It's called Estaba la Pajara Pinta. Let me show you the illustration of the little birdie with the limes. And I'm going to try to do it as best as I can because it's supposed to go very, very fast. Okay. Estaba la pajara pinta sentada en un verde limón. Con el pico recoge la hoja, con la hoja recoge la flor. Ay, ay, ¿dónde estará mi amor? Oh my God, I got through it. <laughs> okay, so the translation is the lovely bird, Kukuru, sang the lovely bird, high upon its lofty crest, pecking branches and buds off the lime tree. She cried as she made her nest. Oh, 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 where can my true love be? So I don't actually have too much context on this uh, song, but I do know that my mom would actually uh, sing this to me when I actually bought this book so I could get the speed correctly. And I guess it's very good in order for you to like perhaps test your reading, reading, <laughs> your breathing technique and to see if you can enunciate all the words. All right, next song actually comes from right here in Puerto Rico. Um, the illustration is actually, let me show you that one, very similar to the architecture that we find in the south of the island in um, townships like Ponce. So this one is called El Hijo del Conde, and it's also a song. I didn't grow up with this one, but this one is a little bit, <gasps> Shady. Okay, here we go. El hijo del conde caramba me escribió un papel que si yo quería caramba casarme con él. Yo le contesté caramba en otro papel que si me casaba caramba no sería con él. So, translation. The count's son. The son of the count, oh caramba, wrote a note to me asking for my hand caramba to be wed to me. Quickly, I replied, caramba, here is what I said. Should I ever marry caramba? Not with you, I said. <gasps> so shady. <laughs> I actually know the tone of this song because my mom, long time ago, told me that they actually used to sing this when she was a kid. I don't know in what context, but using a little bit of my teacher brain and my I love to play uh, brain, something tells me that perhaps this is very similar to another um, popular game. I don't know if it's as popular now, but another popular game that was called Chegi Morena. And if anybody knows what I'm talking about, you might be laughing right now. Chegi Morena is basically a song where all the children go in a circle and one child is out one child is chosen and they have to do a little dance and at the end they blindfold themselves with their hand and then they choose the next person and the game keeps going so sometimes i would think that perhaps this song was played like that i don't know if anybody knows please tell me in the comments so last but definitely not least i left my favorite one of these that I selected for this episode. And when I was little, to me, this was the tickle song, but it's really called Acerrin Acerran. And I'm going to explain why I would think that it was the tickle song when I was little. Here we go. And I'm going to tell you the illustration has nothing to do with the song. And it's just like a random collection of things that uh, whoever invented this song did. I'm not really sure the point, but here we go. Acerrin, acerran, los maderos de San Juan, los de Juan comen pan, los de Pedro comen queso, los de Enrique, alfe, nique, 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 nique. So as I said, this is a sawdust song and the translation goes, Sada sings Sada songs in the woods of Old San Juan. Old San Juan does not have woods. Johnny's bread, if you please, P 
Peter only gets some cheese. Happy Henry sucks his candy. Almond spuns with sugar candy. So I used to love, 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 love this song when I was little. I hate being tickled, but I wouldn't mind when my mom would do this to me. Is that usually you sit the child or the baby or the kid in your lab and you sway them back and forth like acerrin, acerran, los maderos de San Juan. And when you get to the Nike part, that's where you do the tickling. So my mom would sing it and then she would los de Enrique, alfe Nike, 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 in order for me to laugh. This is very similar to when I talked about que linda manita, that, you know, we play around with your hands. So the baby actually starts developing some of his or her fine motor skills. So that is it for this week's Spanish Sunday. Once again, Shout out to Miss Lulu de la Cre who wrote Arroz con Leche and compelled, compounded, collected, whatever, these amazing songs and poems into this little book that I will treasure forever. My name is Miss Adri. I hope that I taught you some stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all of my social media platforms. If you wish, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you are going to see all of my handles in the next screen. And I hope you get to enjoy some of these songs with your family and don't forget to sing them. Bye.